Welcome to this introduction video about scatter diagrams and um, in the next videos we will actually answer a question about one of those diagrams but just now to show you uh, what scatter diagrams are and what they're trying to do. Uh, well first of all it's important to realize that the scatter diagram chart, uh, tries to to see if there's a particular relationship between two sets of data, between two variables. Okay, and that's going to make sense in a minute. And relationship is also sometimes, um, they use the word correlation. Yeah? Is there correlation between X and Y? Yeah? And um, you have two types of correlation. That is a positive correlation, or a positive relationship, or a negative relationship. And please don't think too difficult about it. Let's say, for instance, um, we're going to check, this is just a sketch, yeah? uh, the grade you get on your maths exam and the amount, yeah? so let's say that's in a percentage, and um, the amount of homework you've done, yeah? so homework in hours, okay? And if you only do a little bit of homework, yeah, your grade is going to be somewhere here, so I'm going to plot that point, yeah? And if I ask everybody, how much homework did you do and what is your grade? Yeah, let's say those are the points plotted. Yeah? So somebody who's done a lot of homework also got a very high grade. Okay? And now you could say, well, there is a positive correlation. There's a positive relationship between the amount of hours of homework somebody's done and the grade they received. Yeah? And it's actually quite a strong positive correlation because the points are quite near to a line. Yeah? And that line, we call that the line of best fit. Yeah? So those points are quite near to that line of best fit. So a strong positive correlation. Yeah? Now in a different situation, yeah, in a different example, perhaps you plot these points yeah? and you could say, well, there is a positive correlation. Yeah? I can see that when, let's say, X is going up, Y is also going up, but it's quite a weak positive correlation because you know, the points are quite yeah, far away from that line of best fit. Okay, moving on very quickly. Negative correlation, I think you already got the idea now. What is negative correlation? Well, if I ask people, and if I plot there yeah, about, um, let's say, uh, their age, okay, and the amount of uh, TV they watch, yeah, then if they're quite old, they don't watch a lot of TV, and when people get younger, yeah, they watch, uh, so when they get younger, they watch more television. So you could say there is a negative correlation because it's going down. You see that, a line of best fits going down, a negative correlation, quite strong. And of course, you can also have a weaker negative correlation, okay? Um, last thing you can have, let me just get a new one, is um, let's say I check, uh, what shall I do, uh, the height of uh, the height, how do I spell that, HT, height, or is it TH, probably TH, yeah? I always take the wrong one, uh, the height of students and uh, their grade uh, on their maths exam, so uh, please forgive why I'm my spelling, okay, uh, and I plot those points, and somebody's very tall on a very low grade, uh, somebody else very tall but a very high grade, and let's say these are the points that I plot, then I could say, well, there is no correlation. Yeah? There's no relationship between the height of a student and the grade received on their uh, math exam. So no correlation. Yeah? But usually with these questions, you have either a positive correlation, strong or weak, or a negative correlation, strong or weak, yeah? where a scatter diagram or a scatter graph tries to see if there is a particular relationship, yeah, a particular correlation between two sets of data. Okay, go on uh, to my next uh, video and I'm going to solve a question about scatter diagrams and we're going to actually create one ourselves, okay? So I'm gonna see you there and uh, take care, bye-bye.